the challenges I thought I would have as a woman entrepreneur, I didn't because confidence is very important. When you go in being confident, there is no limitation, so you won't be facing any glass ceiling. You have to believe in your business and believe in yourself. I mean, nowadays, it's very common to see a woman at almost any age to become an entrepreneur. The one thing I wish someone told me before I started out is to listen to my inner instinct. That inner voice will tell you in a flash what you have to do, what you need, and whom to trust. When you're building a business, it's a giant problem-solving task with many moving parts, and you can get burned out very quickly. So it's about pacing yourself. How do you go through gracefully through all the peaks and all the downturns? So having that light mindset really helps. You're only limited by what you think you are. So I don't think there's any extra challenge to being a female entrepreneur. It's really about knowing what your strengths are. There's a lot of research that shows that women spend a lot more time concentrating on empathy and relating to their customers and being able to market very well to their customers. Uh, and I think that's a huge advantage and women should appreciate that and acknowledge that about themselves as an immense strength that they have and not be self-conscious or think that being a female will hold them from doing anything. The journey of an entrepreneur is filled with so many beautiful moments, but also so many beautiful obstacles. Don't be afraid of failure. Failure is actually, will teach you uh, the most amazing things. That's when you know where you went wrong, but that's also when you know what you need to do to make it right. So we've just got to break the barriers and do what we do best. Mm -hmm.